Okay, let's set up our scene for baking. So we've got our low poly and our high poly. And I'm pretty happy with it right now, so uh, we're good to start baking. So first thing I want to do is save this as a new blender scene. I'll call this bake. Just let that save. And now I want to come to the high poly scene. So just press 2. Grab. And now I want to grab everything and want to apply all the modifiers all right and then I'm gonna delete this and what's that okay I'm gonna delete that And now I'm going to go through and delete everything that is not the mesh, which should just be everything on this working layer. So, yeah, we can just delete this working layer. So you can do that by clicking right click delete hierarchy and then let's also delete that that and that and we should just be left with just our high poly mesh let's go to our low poly folder and we already applied all the modifiers so let's just delete this hierarchy and we'll delete these two and same thing with our reference so we'll just delete hierarchy and now I want to delete this collection and same thing with that so everything's just in two simple folders our high and our low and the first thing I want to bake is the sites so let's make a new new collection we'll call this sites underscore high and the same thing in here sites underscore low and let's actually make another collection in here and we want to move everything to our that one and everything in here to there all right so now let's grab our sites so everything we want to bake, just do the rear sight for now. Alright, and move that to, we'll call this rear sight slow, do the same thing. Alright, now we'll go to the high poly, grab all of these same things and move it to rear sights high and disable these um, we've got some some pinching but whatever it's fine you'll never be able to see it. Alright, let's make sure our normals are all pointing the right way. Okay, everything looks good. And we're gonna make this one texture set, so at least for now, 
if you don't want to, you don't have to worry about getting everything on one map. You can bake it all down to one map at the end, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, let's make sure all of our... Alright, so let's select both, and now we need to explode. Alright, so select everything and make sure the normals are all pointing the right way. So let's bring this up to bring that to the right to okay bring that to the right to that to the right to this to the right four bring this down negative two let's keep it even numbers and we'll grab this and that and bring it down or bring it out negative two so we'll just grab this Negative two, shift R, make sure we get the floater. Alright, so now on the low poly, we're gonna take everything and join it. I'm gonna call this rear sites underscore low. We're gonna select everything, do average island scale, and then pack. And just Alright, we so we got decent coverage, or we got good coverage actually. The default packer, we did pack islands. It doesn't get uh, nearly as much, so that's why I recommend this add-on. Um, all right, so we got this packed, and let's go to our high poly. We want to do the same thing. Join. We'll do sites. Or rear sites underscore high. Just like to keep it named to make it simple. It has literally nothing to do with the baking. Alright, so let's rotate our HDRI back to normal. And now let's select this. Go into edit mode. Make sure we have applied all transforms let's just do the same thing for this one all right we need to make a single user object data apply all the transforms all right and now on layer this one we want to let's see uh, go into edit mode Turn on normals and bring it out. Oh wait, we want to select the low poly and we want these normals to be able to pick up the pick up the high poly. So bring that as close as possible. And now I'm gonna copy copy that number. We're going to select the high poly, then the low poly, and we're going to create a new material called Baker, or just uh, rear, rear sites, something like that, and we're going to create an image texture, create new, and we'll call this rear sites normal 32 bit float I like to bake at 32 bits and then at the very end you can convert it to all you can convert all your maps to 8 bit uh, targas but for now I like to work in this let's set our um, samples to 16 at least for now go to bake do normal Selected to active cage, and let's do our normal that we had. Uh, when we got the normal, we're pasting this number into here and clear image. And let's bake. I'm just gonna do a test bake. And the thing is, I don't know how many people know about this because I've seen quite a bit of tutorials like where people are doing simple objects and they build a cage mesh 
you don't have to build a cage mesh, you can just click the little cage option and type in a number and it'll do it for you. It'll use the average normals instead of the hardened normals to bake. Alright, let's go set up a material. Go to Eevee. I can already see we got some some errors right here. But set up a metallic material. And turn the roughness down. Alright, so that is the problem. Everything else seemed to bake fine. Alright, that's because it's not baking. Or it's got nothing to bake from. So make sure we move this into site pre site high. Move that into rear sight eye and join with this. Make sure our normals are pointed the right way. And now let's try and rebake. Okay, we still have some errors. Let's find where they are. And that might be... We might just have to turn this up a bit. That might fix it. So, let's try again. Let's select the high poly first, then the low. And let's bake. I think I think that was the, the problem was our ray distance wasn't long enough. Alright now if we look at this we have a pretty much perfect bake other than the fact that this is low low resolution. So now let's bake at 4K. So grab that, then this. And then we want to do and I don't know if you can see this, but well, it, it'll be easier to see at 4K. But I'll show you the effect that the samples has. You need to turn up your samples probably to like 64, because we're baking with the bevel shader. All right, let's cancel that actually. So we can go to image, discard, change this to 4096, and now bake it and this is gonna take um a lot longer I think probably eight times as long right because it's eight 1024 textures it's four packed in this way and four packed in this way so actually it might take 16 times longer uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one twelve fifteen fourteen yeah probably 16 times longer so I'm going to stop the recording and I'm just going to do like multiple, multiple recordings so that you guys don't have to sit through this.